Um, you are. Yeah. You are dripping in sweat. <laughs> is there, a, is there like a hand towel or something, or maybe a bucket of ice? It's kind of hot. Those lights get literally like a towel and some ice water. I'm not taking it off. Give it a rest. There was, uh, I'll tell you a funny story real quick. We were doing a scene just, <laughs> we were doing a scene just recently, and, and he, he, he does, he just, he sweats, sweats profusely. And during a scene, if the scene is, you know, quite long, he'll, he'll spring a leak in the beginning of the scene, and even though he's like powdered and stuff before the scene, uh, you know, a few lines into it, he's, all of a sudden, he's like dripping, and it's always right here on him. So this one time it was like I don't know whether to feel he, he comforted was, that you see my sweat spot. <laughs> Come on, man! It's like, and so I just grabbed the the towel from the makeup artist and I was like, just give, just let me hang on to it. And so literally, like in between our lines, I would be like, pause, continue, like two or three times in the scene. He's just like, once I start to sweat, he kind of goes. Thank you. I I think we'll move on. I'm good, how are you? Um, pretty good. Great. Um, we get to ask you questions all the time, but I was wondering if you were going to ask us, the fans, one question, what would it be? Yes. Like, okay, here. All right. It's <laughs> not you asked, would you? Um, how, how did you get into being a fan? What was your first sort of a, ha, ha I'm a fan moment? Does it happen gradually, or is it like, uh, finding, finding Christ? And it's, you're saved. I think in, I want to know in general. in general. This show, I know how it happens. <laughs> um, the internet helps. Okay. A lot. <laughs> okay. So, what, you get an email from someone? <laughs> um, I would say you are you go online and Google something as, that you're interested in, and then you start clicking on So that's the first sign and that then, you're in danger. Yes. <laughs> and then it just, you just kind of get pulled deeper and deeper until you're showing up to conventions. <laughs> okay, so it is gradual. It is gradual. There's no one moment where you wake up and you say, aha, I'm a fan. I don't, I don't think so. Do, does anyone remember that moment? Like suddenly realizing, oh god, I've become one of, one of those things that I used to hate. <laughs> yes, you. You remember it. Just tell me about it. How, what, what was the moment? You're, you're averting your eyes. She, she's pretending that she doesn't think I'm talking to her. <laughs> Clever, I like it. You, you, yes, you with the red thing on your wrist. <laughs> Shout it out. Um, 2.30 in the morning in college. In college. On a bender, having a panic attack. <laughs> uh, studying the files. Papers were due. What needed a distraction. You knew, ah, this is how I can procrastinate from this point forward. <laughs> okay, procrastination tools seem to resonate. Good. Okay, great. Lovely talking to you. Thank you so much. Hi. Hi. What's happening? Hi. Don't mind him. Thank you. Yes? I was wondering what the first prank you ever played on anybody, like a brother or a best friend, and why you did it. What did I do? I don't know, that's a, that's a, that's going way back there. I think probably like whoopee cushion type stuff. Yeah, I actually did, oh. I actually did the bucket of water above the door. To my brother. I don't think it got him though. I think it backfired on me. I did. I did. Ooh, I'm teaching people a bad thing. Sorry, parents. Um, if you go to a restaurant and they have like salt and pepper shakers, you get a little piece of napkin and you put it on the either the salt and pepper, and then you put pepper on top. Of, like if it's, a, if it's a salt can, you put pepper on top of the napkin. Get rid of all the paper, so that when somebody goes to put pepper on, they're actually putting salt on. I used to do that. That's kind of bad. I would just unscrew them <laughs> I'd actually, and then just leave them, and so be like, oh, <laughs> pepper in my glass, and stuff like that. You know, ketchup. Yeah, that's a good one. I have to bring that back. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> it would be a terror, terrorize the world. Thank you. Hi. Um, I'd like to know why you decided to become an actor, and if you were an actor. What would be your second choice for an occupation? If I were an actor? <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's a trap. 
What made you think you could be an actor? <laughs> Hypothetically, if you were one. Um, Word, that took me down a couple pegs. I'll tell you. <laughs> If I seem insecure from this point forward, you'll know why. Um, I used to spend a lot of time like going into character. I would, I would pretend to be a character for a while just because it was fun and I could mess with people. Um, I, would get in, I would get free tickets to concerts by pretending that I was a lost Russian foreign exchange student. And like, my, my best friends in, in concert, the uh, teacher is my ticket, I can't. And you're like, all right, get in, go in, you're a problem, go. Um, but I had friends who said, you know, you should, you, you should try acting. And so, um, and so I did. And, um, that, but there was also a part of me that um, want, uh, has always wanted to do some, <sighs> God, this is a long story. I, it's boring, I'm sorry. I wanted to be like um, a politician when I was a kid. Like, I, I, to be honest with you, I wanted to be president when I grew up. Um, <laughs> Shows I had an overblown, you should be. an overblown ego from a young age, um, but I thought, well, a good way to do that is if I if I could get famous, then uh, then I could use that to you know do other things in the world. So part of actually why I got into acting was so that I could try to get famous, so that I could use that to try to make the world a better place, which is kind of a really crazy plan. Um, but uh, somewhere along the line, I realized that I actually really liked acting and that doing that was gratifying um, in and of itself. That's a really long story, but uh, there you go. It's a cool story. All right. Uh, you made my day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Hi. Um, first of all, I would like to say thank you for all your hard work on Supernatural and tell you that you were simply amazing this season uh, in portraying both Sam and Gadri. So thank, thank you. you. Hi. Hi. I don't really have a question. I just wanted to tell you that it's really nice to have you here year after year because uh, it wasn't easy to come here every year, but we made it, me and my sister, and I'm really glad because it's worth it every time and you're really nice. Even if we can talk to you like only a few minutes, you're really nice to us and friendly. I just wanted to thank you. Thank you. That's very sweet. I didn't hear the beginning of the question. What do we think about conventions? Is that uh, convention and fans? And fans people, in general. A strange thing for you all. You know what's interesting? Now that you bring this up, when I first went to, when I first got a call to go to a convention, uh, I was like, I'm sorry, you have to do what? <laughs> to go up on stage and talk in front of a bunch of people? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. That sounds terrifying. To me. These conventions and these these you know fan get-togethers and stuff. Uh, at first, I, I wasn't quite know I didn't quite know how to you know. I never we never been to them. I think how, a, lot, yeah, a lot of y'all guys we had no idea what to expect. So I didn't know what to expect, and I think after the first few um, happened, then it was like, oh, well, this this can be really fun. I mean, like I, I enjoy being up here, like chatting up with you guys. Like it, it, I think we have the best fans in the world because there there is that respect not only for like. It's not, it's not like a, uh, there's not like idolizing of, of an actor, it's an appreciation of a, of a show and of a story. And it's a story that all, you guys all like, and it's a story that we love telling. So I think that there's a, a common denominator there, and that is supernatural, I think that's what makes us cool. We're getting these questions that, that make sense, and that are about us as people, and that are about the characters, and the different seasons of the show. And it's not like, what position do you sleep in at night? <laughs> Which window do you keep unlocked? Toothpaste, right. but it's 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 we are as much here because of y'all guys as y'all are because of us. Thank you for your answer. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Jared and I just got an email from uh, from a friend who sent a link to um, uh, people uh, watching some YouTube, and it was fans reacting to the season finale. <laughs> Like watch, watching it live and getting their reactions. The video, I don't know who videotapes themselves watching TV. Anyway, it was highly entertaining for he and I. It was really like, because we never get to see, you know, your, your reactions when you're watching the show. And, and we're sitting there and we get the reaction of a crew guy who's been staring at us for the past nine years. It was like, eh, nice work. So, um, 
you know, to actually see the 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 reaction and and get that, uh, uh, you know, get to be able to see that was was pretty interesting for he and I. Honestly, it felt it was really cool. <laughs> he and I both looked at each other, and it was the first time. It was the first time I really thought about somebody watching Supernatural. You know, you tell us about how you watch it, and it's awesome. You tell us about this, and I know I've seen a few episodes, my family and my friends, but I got, it was fun to see somebody seeing the show for the first time. Yeah, we always hear about the reaction. We hear about it, we never see But we never reaction. see what happens when people, so it was, it really, was really interesting, yeah. So we encourage you to video yourselves. Yes. Watching Supernatural and post it so that we can watch you watching Supernatural. Thank you. Will you guys help me? Uh, this is actually uh, the longest I've ever been without seeing my kids. It made me really sad. But I've been sending them uh, little videos every day. You know, maybe, we could, maybe we could send a video. Here, you be quiet and then you be loud. Um, <laughs> Hey guys, um, I'm just checking in to make sure that you are following the most important rule while I'm gone. No having fun. <laughs> um, I'm here working in Chicago and I'm here with some uh, people that want to say hi to you. Hi! Hi! Those are the people that I work with, and I, I know that they seem scary, but they are. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Aww. Thanks, man. That is, the, that is the rule we have. No fun while I'm away. So every time I talk to West on the phone, he's like, Dad, I went to the playground. You did what? Moving right along. <laughs> Hi, um, I have a question for both of you. Um, what are you guys going to dress your kids up as for Halloween? <laughs> Tom is a dinosaur. <laughs> and he hates it. I will, I will, I will tweet a picture of most Halloween. Of Tom's costume because I think it's adorable. But um, he does not think so because it covers his hands. Here's the thing about his hands. He just doesn't like he doesn't like mud on his hands. He's a he's a dirty kid. He runs around and he gets messy and muggy. But he'll look at his hands and be like, ah! uh, <laughs> but the little dinosaur gloves go over his hands, so he is not happy. But there's a funny picture I'm sure. He's like reaching for help. It sounds bad. Uh, my favorite is kids like I mean like just big dumpy tears. He's like, ah! and then. Help it. Pictures being taken of it. <laughs> yeah, so instead of helping it, we're like, <laughs> and backing away. <laughs> Tom, you're too close, Tom. You're too close. You're too close. <laughs> What's JJ going to be? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, she's four and a half months. I, it's, you know, at this point, it's like, what is she going to be able to fit in? Because she's growing. She's like doubling in size every week, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I'm sure Daniel you know, has something picked out, and I'll, it'll, oh, it'll be a surprise. <laughs> to me. Hey guys, um, this question is for Misha. Allegedly, you were in a Navy safety training video an age and a half ago. Um, number one, is it real? And if so, did you get to go on a ship? How was your experience? Did you enjoy it? Yes, I was. I was on a battleship, and it was very cool. I mean, they, they, they it was, my, that was my very my very first on-camera experience. And that was acting on camera. <laughs> and I was really good. I recently saw it because it was on the internet. It was on the internet. Somebody found it. I don't know how you people find the shit you find. Yeah, that was exciting, very exciting. Um, I was really, really young and uh, really terrible. I mean, some things don't change. I'm older now. Um, but, but it was, um, it was something. Has everybody seen it? Yeah. Oh my god, do yourselves a favor tonight and watch it. It's great. It is awesome. Yeah. Early Castiel. <laughs>
And my voice is like five octaves higher, too. You're in the Navy, aren't you? Yes. I yes, can tell. Sir. What kind of a craft are you on? I'm a lieutenant, and I just came from USS George Washington for deployed in Japan. Um, no way. I'm currently in the UK. So. Oh, amazing. Thank you. How long was your deployment? Uh, uh, two years, and we did two six-month deployments. Went all over uh, South China Sea. It was a great time. And um, you have never seen so many supernatural uh, laptops out in the listed birthing as I have. And really? That is awesome. Did you show it to your fellow? Um, I actually did show it to a couple of fellow officers. We were cracking up because um, you did exactly what we wish all of our enlisted would do. Well, I'm amazed that your enlisted don't do what he did because it's like he's about to start welding, I believe, and he's standing in a pool of, of, of fuel, of gasoline. <laughs> and and what he, he's like, you know what? I should probably clean this up first. <laughs> so. If they're not doing that, that's a problem. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Hi. Hello. Uh, have you ever seen an uh, Italian episode of Supernatural or a film in the Italian version? And uh, what it feels to see you acting but uh, not hearing your own voice? Um, no, I haven't seen a dub for. I haven't seen an Italian dub version. I saw a. Uh, I saw a Japanese dub version, <laughs> which was, uh, it's, it's always interesting when you see your mouth moving and the, not your voice or your language coming out of it. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, it was very interesting, but uh, it's, and I actually, I got to meet the guy who did my, or did Dean for the Japanese television, and <laughs> I'll never forget it, it was, it was awesome. I, I don't, I don't remember the guy's name, but um, he walks in, and it's like a, he's like a rock star. He's like got an entourage, and he's in like an all white suit, and he just kind of like walks up to me. He's like, "Yeah, hey, how you doing?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Hi, hi. Who is this? Uh, that's the guy that plays Dean." Oh. <laughs> Can I get a picture with him? That was funny. Yeah, thanks. Hi. Privyet. Privyet. My God, they're everywhere. The Russians are everywhere. Especially um, for you, Mish. Oh, stop. <laughs> Russian nymph. Um, Thank you. I want to go to Russia. We met a Russian today, and she was really excited about Misha. And I forgave her, but she had like, she was so excited. Come all the way from Russia, literally. Um, and it got me thinking how much I want to go to Russia. That's weird. I think it's because I watched The Saint so much. <laughs> With Val that was an honest confession. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's true. I was like, and he does his accent, and he's like a traveler. <laughs> Do it. I'm not doing it. He does it, he knows. He teases me now, but he knows what the saint is. I want, I want to travel, there's a lot of traveling I want to do. What are you searching for? <laughs> Just a traveler, <laughs> searching for purity. <laughs> what do you search for? Uh, anytime I need him to stop and smell the roses, that's what I tell him. Hi, Jared, did you get Misha? Hi, Privyet. So, my question is, how many inches of the... Oh, wow, that's what's wrong. Tie people to chairs? Yes? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'll answer for that. Yes. A lot. And we also have rope. Um, so the duct tape, when you see it duct taped, is actually, I'm gonna, my, like, so 
you will duct tape around and around and around and around, and then they'll cut the back of it and then just pull half of it out like this so you can get up and walk around, and then when you come back, they'll just put it back. So it's not... It's, it's not, cheating. Yeah, we cheat. With the ropes, too. It's not brand new every time. Yeah. Um, the ropes, the chains, the handcuffs, all of that stuff, it's... Actually, handcuffs are often real. Yeah. Um, it's a funny thing, um, Robin, who is our uh, on-set prop person, she is the one, it's her job in props to tape people up or tie them up or chain them up or cuff them or whatever. And it's funny because she's just like, all right, are we gonna chain this one? <laughs> <laughs> chains or ropes? You want or thick chains, up. thin chains? Well, how do I gonna do this? It's very she's routine cheap. for her now. She's probably done it. 50,000 times. Yeah, she's done it a lot of times. But my favorite thing was uh, somebody brought a, uh, a picture one time of Robin tying Jensen to a chair, because that's her job. Um, and it, someone printed it off the internet or something at a convention and came up to me and she said, who is this girl and how does she have the best job in the world? <laughs> so I was like, ah, prop and Robin. Um, all right, thank you. Privia. Spasiba. Spasiba. Baka. What'd you call me? <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Yeah, again. <sighs> More of you. Um, did all let me hear a question for you. Did all of the Russians rent a big bus? <laughs> no? <laughs> you rented a plane. <laughs> Are you all like cronies of Putin? <laughs> um are you spies? <laughs> yeah, we are. Um, did you all plan to come together? No, we didn't. We just met here. Really? Yeah. How many of you are Russians? Many. A lot of, actually. It doesn't look like that many when you raise your hands. <laughs> it seems like a lot when you're at the microphone, but only five. They're, they're all just at the microphone. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, good talking to you. What? Get out of here? He goes, you know what you need? You need one of those hooks to just pull us off the stage. Um, all right. Thank you. I will see you again. Welcome. Tomorrow. Tonight. And, uh, what? Tonight. Tonight. I'm sorry. I stand corrected. Um, all right, guys. Have an awesome weekend. Bye. Misha Kelly is Thank you.